and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. The Airbus Beluga XL is a large cargo aircraft designed and manufactured by Airbus. It is an improved version of the original Airbus Beluga, also known as the Airbus A300-600 ST Super Transporter, which has been in service since the mid-1990s. The Beluga XL is specifically built to transport oversized aircraft components, such as wings, fuselage sections, and other large aircraft parts, between Airbus manufacturing facilities in Europe. The aircraft's unique design features a large bulbous cargo bay located above the main fuselage, providing a significantly larger carrying capacity compared to the original Beluga. The development of the Beluga XL was undertaken to meet the increasing demands of Airbus production and to accommodate larger aircraft parts for the next generation of Airbus aircraft, such as the A350XWB. As a result of its distinct appearance, the Beluga XL has earned the nickname Flying Whale due to its bulbous cargo carrying section resembling the shape of a whale. It is an important asset for Airbus logistics and production operations, ensuring the efficient transportation of aircraft components across Europe. Airbus Beluga, the world's strangest looking airplane turns 29. Happy birthday, Beluga! The Beluga, which took its maiden flight on September 13, 1994, has been transporting Airbus component parts between the company's European manufacturing sites for the last 29 years. The world's strangest looking airplane is celebrating the 29th anniversary of its first flight this month. Popularly known as the Beluga, because of its resemblance to the white Arctic whale, the Airbus A300-600 ST, ST stands for Super Transporter, is unique not only in appearance, but also for the essential role it performs in European aviation. Today, more than 60 flights are performed each week between 11 sites, carrying parts for all of the Airbus programs. So what's so special about this odd-looking aircraft? Here's an in-depth look at the A300-600 Street. Airbus production centers are scattered all over the continent, a legacy of its origins as a pan-European consortium. Each factory specializes in the completion of a specific section of an aircraft. The five Belugas, all operated by Airbus, link these plants and take the different aircraft sections to the final assembly line, either in Toulouse or Hamburg. Until the mid-1990s, Airbus used another funny-looking aircraft to perform its big transporting jobs, the Super Guppy, a derivative of the Boeing C-97, a military cargo version of the 1940s Boeing 377 Stratocruiser. The Super Guppy was already outdated by the time Airbus started using it. Worse was the fact that Airbus was relying on a couple of old aircraft from its chief rival, Boeing, to handle the bulk of its logistics chain. If it was to keep up with its frantic growth, Airbus concluded it needed something better. The airframe chosen for the job was taken from the Airbus A300-600, an aircraft that already had a successful track record with airlines such as Lufthansa, Air France and American Airlines. Each of the five Belugas in operation are, actually, Airbus A300-600 jets that have been modified to carry large cargo. The top section of the aircraft was cut and an additional, wider fuselage section, resembling a bubble, was added to the airframe, giving it its characteristic hump. The cockpit was lowered, making it possible for the cargo hold to be loaded and unloaded through the front of the aircraft. The result is an incredibly spacious cargo hold. Although the Beluga's maximum payload of 47 tons is surpassed by a handful of other cargo aircraft, its voluminous hold makes it suitable for transporting oversized, but not particularly heavy, cargo. Like aircraft parts, the Beluga can carry the wings of an A340 airliner or a fuselage section for Airbus' newest wide-body aircraft, the A350. But it's not large enough to transport many A380 Super Jumbo parts. Those need to travel by boat, barge and road. Belugas have occasionally been charted to fly satellites, helicopters and even works of art. Delacroix's Liberty Leading the People, flew from Paris to Tokyo on a beluga, the canvas wouldn't fit into any other plane. With the beluga hitting two decades of indefatigable service, it's starting to show its age and limitations. 
Since the Belugas made in flight on September 13, 1994, Airbus has multiplied aircraft deliveries by nearly five. The company has become more global, diversifying its supplier base and opening assembly plants in China and Alabama, well outside the Beluga's relatively short range of 1,500 nautical miles with maximum payload. In order to cope with the increasing workload, Airbus has put in place the so-called Fly 10,000 Inches program. The program aims to optimize the company's logistics infrastructure by increasing the work performed by its transport fleet to 10,000 hours per year. The plan includes the Beluga. Airbus says the Beluga's flight hours per aircraft have doubled since it first went into service and will do so again, from 5,000 to 10,000 flight hours, due to the production start of the A350XWB in 2012 and the production ramp-up on other Airbus programs. With aircraft order books at a historic maximum, however, Airbus can't afford to bet its vital logistics operation chain on the readiness of five aging aircraft. Though no decisions have been made, Airbus is reportedly looking at potential replacement solutions. Tentatively called Beluga XL, the Beluga's replacement is likely to be based on the A330 airframe. It's expected to have a longer range and be able to carry a heavier payload, while still being able to land at airports with relatively short runways, such as the one in Broughton, Wales, where Airbus makes wings for its airliners. The next-generation Beluga should also make it possible for Airbus to double its number of cargo flights to 120 per week. What seems assured is that the Beluga XL is going to look similar to the current version, something plane spotters passing through Toulouse should appreciate. Airbus Beluga XL plane gets an awesome makeover. It's earned a reputation as the strangest plane on Earth. It's an aircraft that has earned a reputation as the weirdest-looking plane in the world. Originally named the A330-700L, Airbus changed its name to the Beluga XL after many years of the plane being compared to a Beluga whale due to its odd shape. Now, the aircraft giant has given the plane a very appropriate makeover, and many are cheering. Airbus tweeted a photo of the new look Beluga XL last week, which quickly attracted thousands of likes. It shows the massive transport plane with its nose cone painted to look like a whale, including bright blue eyes and a smiling black mouth. Yes, they designed it this way on purpose. The 20,000 employees of Airbus voted on the new design, out of six options. And their choice is clearly striking a chord with passengers on social media. I like the custom paint job that Airbus put on the Beluga XL transport plane, one person wrote on Twitter. I've always loved this plane, since I was a little girl, Genius idea to bring the myth to life in livery paint, another wrote. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.